Piz Bonina is the highest mountain in the Eastern Alps and stands tall above the mountain village of Pontresina. The simplest route to the top is from the south. However, there is only one way to climb Piz Bonina, and that's from the north, along a ridge known as the Bianco Grat. The Bianco Grat is an aesthetically pleasing and elegant line following a prominent snow ridge up to the summit. The approach hike is just three hours from Pontresina along a lovely green valley up to the modern and comfortable Chiva hut at two and a half thousand metres above sea level. The hut is positioned with a striking outlook onto the Bianco Grat, tomorrow's objective. Oh, I find it quite difficult to follow the track in the dark. Occasionally comes some chains which helps. <laughs> Come at the glacier for a little bit. Well, we're now at the front of the group, which is a bit of a problem because we've got no idea where we're going. <laughs> Led the whole group up and just crossed the Bergfront. Long procession of people. Uh, we reached the Via Ferrata. The Via Ferrata leads up to the Fuercle Privlisa Col at 3,400 metres. Above the col, a steep rocky ridge must be climbed with increasing exposure. The ridge has been bolted to speed up progress through sections of French grade 3 climbing. Uh, you can unclip. The ridge commonly sees 40 to 50 climbers every day throughout summer, so the bolts keep the groups moving. The Bianco Grat was first climbed in 1876 by two Poms and their local guides Johan Yuan and Caspar Maurer. However, they didn't continue to the main summit. It was another two years until guys Hans Grass and Johann Gross completed the ascent all the way to the summit. The rocky section gives way and a short descent leads to the foot of the Bianco Grat, a perfect rest area and Frühstückplatz, breakfast place. Bianco Grat, the stairway to heaven. The Bianco Grat is a beautiful line perched high above the surrounding valleys. It's a sheer pleasure to climb upwards on pure snow with the feeling of air continuously growing with each step gained. Melissa and I were fortunate to lead the climb on that day and be the first to kick steps into the pure snow surface. The angle steepens towards the top, requiring some easy front pointing, but nothing serious. The Bianco Grat culminates at Piz Bianco at just under 4,000 metres. This is a summit, but not our summit. The highest point of this splendid massif lies across a daunting connected ridge. How are you feeling with her? I feel okay, all things considered. I'm a bit scared about that. The exposure on the summit ridge is fantastic and the climbing interesting with sections of French grade 3 and even two abseils along the way. It just wasn't possible to capture good footage. We were up together and on a sharp ridge and didn't want to lose our place in the climbing line. It just wasn't possible to capture a true perspective of the climb. We basically pitched the whole ridge, always attached to the mountain through a combination of bolts and natural protection for running belays. It took two and a half hours to cover the 400 horizontal meters. What do you think of the Bianco Grat? Scary, fun. I like the bottom bit, the top bit I just smell freaking scary the whole time. With some relief, we made the summit after nine hours of climbing. And here we are on the top of Piz Benina after climbing the Bianco Grat. It's a very narrow summit. <laughs> However, that's just part of the story. It was another eight hours descent to the Diavaleza hut, but that's probably worthy of another movie. Mm-hmm. <laughs>